Today we have the brand new iPhone 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max and we have the Moment M series lenses and the brand new T series lenses. So in this video we're going to do a direct comparison, show you some side by sides of how both of these lenses perform, which one looks better and just help you figure out which is best for you, get you an informed buying decision. So let's get to testing. series you're definitely getting a little more distortion I'm noticing it's only really the sharpest center of your shot like center frame whereas you're getting everything that you're focusing on on t-series perfectly sharp it does seem like t-series has some better edge to edge clarity unfortunately lost her in focus higher in the frame. All right, so we got the M-series tele lens on the iPhone 15 Pro. On the edges, on the one-time lens, it looks a little bit blurry, like some distortion and just some blurriness around the edges. But one cool thing you can do is actually tap the 1X one time, and now you're at 28 millimeters, and you can even tap it again, and now you're at 35. So that's some cool little digital imagery that the iPhone 15 Pro has that actually makes the M-series lens a little bit more usable on the 15 Pro. Okay, so after testing our moment lenses for the past couple days, we do have some unfortunate news, and that is that all of the moment lenses, aside from the macro, are not compatible with the new built-in periscope lenses. Those are the new 3X or 5X zoom lenses. It does work great on the standard 1X lens, and now there's actually multiple focal lengths built into the 1X lens, so you can do standard 1X, 28 millimeters, 35, or two times zoom on the standard 1X and still get a great image. But once you mount the moment lenses on the periscope lenses and zoom into three times or five times, you will get no usable image unfortunately, aside from the Moment Macro, which actually does work on the periscope lens. So that's just something to note when filming with the Moment lenses, but it does work great on the native 1X lens. Uh, we're about to shoot some macro on the iPhone 15. We're testing out the T-series lenses, the M-series lenses, checking out the differences, seeing what they can do. Let's go see the results. People walking by are just seeing <laughs> these eyeballs on the big yeah. screen. Oh my God. Like that. <laughs> so overall, it actually is pretty cool. We weren't really expecting our M-series lenses to be super compatible with the new 15s and the new phones going forward. But so far, what we're getting, it's actually proving that they are. So we're excited to see the rest of the tests. So technically, the 10 times macro does work over the periscope lens on the Pro Max. It works great. It's just any little bit of movement on the phone, it's going to fall out of focus. So this is only when you really need it. All right, we got Picasso in the house. Hey guys, we're going to be shooting with the 18 millimeter. This is the old M series. Okay. Why? Look how much bigger this one is. We just have so much more Aww, glass. It's like a little baby. We have a little baby in the big boy then. Yeah. Way bigger glass, more bigger apertures. So mm -hmm. This one still rocks. M series 18 millimeter versus the new T series 18 millimeter. This is the 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, but we just got about the same shot. But let's zoom in and see which what kind of detail you're getting. If we go in on these cars, these cars just look way sharper. You can see the oh, you can I even can read see that Robson Street versus here. It's just a blurry mess. I don't think you can even zoom in that much. No, not on the M series. T series, you get some. That's weird. cool. But edge to edge clarity on both. M series lens, T series lens. This is so sick. There's no distortion on this one, like the fisheye, so I'm able to still get really cool stuff, but it's not as funky and as as warped as with the fisheye lens. Let's shoot fisheye now. We're gonna go into the market, shoot some interior shots. Right now we have the 14 millimeter fisheye M series lens on the 15, so we're gonna get a good shot of that and then test it against the T series and see how they compare. I 
it's probably one of my favorite lenses to work with because I can get really fun, weird angles. And yeah, you're not able to get this with other lenses. It's one of my faves. What? Kind of sick. Do I move or not? I think you say so. Oh, okay. So impressive. It's so that cool. is. Like, dang. All right, now we have the 1.55 T-Series anamorphic lens and it's kind of dark, so this will be a cool little low light test of how the anamorphic performs at night. Okay, so the M-Series anamorphics, you can see the borders of the lens on the left and right of the frame. All these T-Series, you weren't seeing the borders, you were just getting some nice distortion around the edges, which is pretty normal with anamorphics. The detail in the center of the frame was pretty good in both of them. It might be a little more sharper on the T-Series, but where you really get a huge difference is on the edges of the frame. So the T-Series anamorphics win this one. All right, and real quick, we're using the Pro Camera app by Moment. And the reason we really love it for the anamorphics is that basically you can actually go to your lens selector in the T-Series, and I have the 1.55, and my footage is already de-squeezed for me, so that helps a ton. So after looking at all of the photos and the videos, both the M and the T-Series lenses work on the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. Of course, the T-Series being the newest line of Moment lenses, those are going to give you the sharpest image possible, but it's still pretty cool that you can still use the older M-Series lenses on your iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. And while it is unfortunate that we can't use most of our lenses on the new periscope mode, you can still punch in to 28 millimeters or 35 millimeters and use any of the lenses. You just can't get periscope on Moment lenses. The only lens that does work is the macro lens on periscope mode. And one really cool thing is that Moment does have a M series to T series trade-in program. So if you do have a full set of Moment M series lenses and they're all in good condition, you can actually trade them in and get a nice little discount on your T series lenses. So that can be a good way to save some money and also get the newest set of lenses that Moment offers. You can check out the link in description for more info on the M series to T series trade-in program. It was super fun testing out all of the Moment lenses on the brand new iPhones. The thing I'm probably most hyped about is the T-Series anamorphic lenses on the 15 Pros in ProRes Log. I think that's just gonna be a game changer combo for mobile filmmakers out there. Huge thank you for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe. And if you do have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below and we'll see you in the next one.